Can you introduce yourself to us? Hi, I'm Sharon Lewin. I work at the Alfred Hospital, Monash University and the Burnett Institute in Melbourne, Australia. All right, Sharon, well, thanks for agreeing to talk to us. We're here at the DART conference. You gave a talk yesterday about um, some of the strategies that are being pursued for a cure. Can you tell us, do you think any of those are shaping up to be more promising than others, or, or what's your outlook on this? Yeah, I mean, I think the um, strategy for a cure is still a real challenge, but we have a number of strategies that are looking quite promising, and they're at various stages of development. And so I talked about ways to tackle the big big barriers for cure and a few things that look promising I think are starting treatment early because people that start treatment very early have the smallest amount of virus left on treatment and then these new drugs that look very um, potent at waking up virus from when it goes to sleep in most right. cells okay. and those drugs will be trialled in clinical trials both in the US and, and in Australia in 2011. Do you think we're going to see any results soon? from studies around around those new drugs. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that as, as a, um, two studies that I know, one that will be done in Melbourne and one that's been done in Chapel Hill will start early next year. Yeah. And they're short-term studies. They're really just looking for a proof of concept of whether the drugs do the same in a patient as what they do in the laboratory. Sounds exciting. We'll keep our eyes out then. Yeah, yeah. I have one other question for you. You recently got the good news that we that Ampha is supporting a uh, Crim Biomedical Fellow in your lab. Can you tell us what that means to her and to your lab and to her career? We are really excited about that. Um, the fellow's name is Megan Crane, and Megan's been with me for about three years. And she works on HIV Hep B co-infection, which is actually a huge problem globally with... Um, hepatitis uh, comorbidities they've been this, the main cause of non-AIDS related deaths and she's got a really exciting project looking at why the two viruses are a bad mix and why you get much worse liver disease so she is ecstatic um, getting a, a fellowship like that is really really tough at her stage of her career at least in Australia and I think in the US and other countries so the possibility of AFR providing that is just fantastic well, we should be looking out for Dr. Crane in the future then, huh? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. All right, well, thank you for talking to us. Pleasure.